Welcome to part 2 of MCQ based on object oriented programming in PHP. Let's begin. Class is a programmer defined data type which includes dash methods and variable. Answer is D. Class is a user defined data type which includes local methods and local variables. What will be the syntax of defining the class? Answer is C. To define class, keyword class is used followed by class name and curly braces. The same way we do for functions. Which of the following is the output of the below code? Here is the PHP code. Here is one class. Let's find course. It consists of one function construct and one echo statement. Dollar $LFC is the object of the class let's find course answer is a the class let's find course was initiated which of the following is the output of the below code here in the php code class let's find course is the class destruct function is used an echo statement dollar lfc is the object of let's find course class Answer is A, that is the class Let's Find Course was destroyed. Which one of the following is the right way to call a class constant given that the class is math function? Answer is C. Echo math function scope resolution operator and the constant PI. This is the right way to call a class constant. PHP makes it possible to automatically execute code when a new instance of a class is created using a special class method called a answer is B constructor. Next is once a class has been defined, objects can be created from the class with a dash keyword. New keyword is used to create object answer is C. You access and objects properties and methods using the dash operator answer is C that is the arrow operator is used to access the properties when you extend a class the subclass inherits all of the dash methods from the parent class answer is D that is public and protected a class may contain its own answer is E that is variables functions constants next is child classes are defined using the keyword dash answer is a extends keyword is used to define child class from the parent class in inheritance member variables of a class is also known as answer is all of the above member variables are also known as attributes property and instance. Defining a class in terms of another class and then specifying only the things that you want to be different from that class is called as answer is to that is inheritance. So inheritance can be used. Extends clause is used for answer is one that is inheriting a class from another class. So extends keyword is used in inheritance PHP offers no support for which of the following? Answer is 3 that is multi inheritance. PHP do not support feature of multi inheritance. The practice of separating the user from the true inner workings of an application through well known interfaces is known as answer is C encapsulation. Which of the following term originates from the Greek language that means having multiple forms defines OOP's ability to redefine a class characteristic? Answer is B. Polymorphism. Polymorphism means having multiple forms. Which one of the following is the right way to invoke a method? Answer is A. That is dollar object. This is the way to define variable in PHP followed by arrow method name and round brackets semicolon which one of the following are the right way to declare a method 
आंसर इज सी दैट इज फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड मेथड कैन बी यूज टू डिक्लेयर अ मेथड इन पी एच पी सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन टू स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट नंबर वन एंड नंबर टू विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टी स्कोप इज नॉट सपोर्टेड बाय पी एच पी आंसर इज ए फ्रेंडली पी एच पी सपोज फाइव क्लास प्रॉपर्टी स्कोप पब्लिक प्राइवेट प्रोटेक्टेड फाइनल एंड स्टैटिक विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द राइट वे टू डिफाइन अ कॉन्स्टेंट आंसर इज डी क्लास कॉन्स्टेंट आर क्रिएटेड लाइक सी ओ एन एस टी कॉन्स्ट की वर्ड फॉलोड बाई नेम इक्वल टू इन कोड वैल्यू सेमिकोलन we define our own class by starting with the keyword answer is a class we define our own class by starting with the keyword class which keyword is used to refer to properties or methods within the class itself answer is d this keyword is used to refer to properties and methods within the class itself hope this video will help you with your online exams like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching